Hey everybody, welcome into Letterman Row. It's Buckeye Q. I'm Austin Ward and joined for the first time live and in person, the former Ohio State captain, uh, Towel Gang CEO, <laughs> co-host of the Drive the Lane pod, it's Joey Lane. Joey, thanks for uh, joining us to get this basketball season started. Absolutely, thanks for having me. All right, so I think if, you know, year three here for Chris Holtman, you were obviously a part of those first two successful years and this is kind of the first time I think that the expectations have shifted is the mood different for these Buckeyes as they get ready to, to open up with Cincinnati? Uh, yeah, I mean, just talking with the guys on the team now, my former teammates, uh, everyone's excited. Um, it's a feeling that they haven't really had before having these, you know, quote unquote expectations, which are definitely a scary thing to have, but <laughs> they're definitely going to embrace it. And, and Coach Holman, like the teams that he coaches, um, the expectations don't matter. They're going to bring it every night. All right, when you look in this backcourt now as they try to replace you. Yeah, <laughs> and the, impossible. And, and, and CJ Jackson, look at... You, I know you've talked a lot about uh, Walker, what he can provide there, and then everybody is talking about DJ Carton. You know, how how good can this backcourt be? Uh, yeah, I mean, two lefty point guards, that's what Ohio State thrives on, obviously, <laughs> when you talk about Mike Connolly, D'Angelo Russell, the list goes on and on. Um, yeah, between, Do they just recruit lefties? Yeah, is that it? And that's what it seems like. If, if you want to go to the next level from Ohio State, you got to be a lefty, uh, clearly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, so I'll start with CJ. CJ is a really, really close friend of mine now. Uh, the dude can go, great guy, bulldog. You've heard me talk about him a million, million times. In terms of DJ Carton, I don't think Ohio State's ever had a guard like him. Uh, the dude is more athletic, he's faster, he's quicker, he might even be stronger than just about any other guard that he'll go up against this year. So um, in terms of uh, attacking the rim and finishing around the rim, there's there might not be another guy like him. All right, we've only got a couple clips of him already. He played that exhibition last week, the big debut against Cincinnati tomorrow night. He's also got some highlight reels that I'm sure that uh, Joey can give us some insight on as well. So we're going to get into that right now. Let's roll the tape. Okay, Joey, we have exactly one game so far and didn't even really count, but DJ Carton's out there. He is doing this work. It still has to count for in your book, I guess. Yeah, uh, the dude's incredible. Like I kind of said before, Ohio State, we've had explosive guards. We've had great scoring guards. We've had great passing guards, but no one liked DJ. Um Dude, yeah, the dude's going to be a, a stud for us, I think, this year. Safe to say that. Is the way that this plays out here, is, is this designed for him? Is it just freelancing this, gets them getting this shot? Is it uh, Yeah, I mean, you see right here, EJ Liddell is coming up, and he's saying what we call a slip screen, where he's, if he can't get there in time, he's getting out of there. So he gets out of there, and what that causes is this defender has to choose, am I going to guard DJ, or am I going to go to the pop and guard EJ, who can shoot the three? Mm -hmm. And they actually guard it pretty well, but then when it happens again, and he is setting that screen and then rolling to the rim. They're so confused over here with this exchange that DJ's able to say, all right, I'm going to break you down and go to work, step back, and hit that three. He's got other options off that. And where would be the next step beyond? I mean, if, if you can get this shot any time, you take that, right? Uh, yeah, so a guy like Dwayne Washington in the corner, um, this guy is supposed to, um, on Cedarville, is supposed to help on this role. These guys have no, um, no, they have no job in helping. This guy has to cover down here and get this romance. So the next step for DJ would be to come off the left and shoot that pass over to Dwayne um, and hit a three. So if we roll it a little bit, uh, Alonzo sets the screen. He rolls to the basket. See how this guy's coming to help yep. down here. DJ shoots this over to Dwayne, who's what well, this is what we call back action when he comes up from the corner. DJ shoots it to him and, and he's going to hit that shot four times out of 10 this year. Yeah, that, that step back's pretty good. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> All right. And he can do that. And he also can get to the rim. I think this is what has uh, a lot of people like you excited about his game. Yeah, I don't know if we've talked about it, but yeah, he's really quick and really explosive. So he comes down here as a lefty, which the left or right cross is every lefty's best move, basically. So <laughs> he rejects the screen that this guy thinks could be there. It's not. Um, and when he attacks the rim and he gets two feet in the paint, um, like he does right here or outside the paint because he's athletic, um, <laughs> no one's stopping him. And, and even though he's like... Like, it's not fair to compare him to LeBron James, but LeBron has never finished a, sh uh, a basket with his left hand because he doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. DJ might not have to finish with his right hand this year because, as you can see, he gets up there. No one's up there with him. So just finish it with your left. It, I remember, you know, last year, the year before, there was so much talk about, you know, you guys not playing in transition as much. Yeah. Uh, and whether it's fans or media, whoever, can you guys push the tempo? And Chris Holtman would seem to tap the brakes on it. Can he can he change that this year, the way he is in the open court? Yeah, him and CJ Walker, they both are incredible in the open floor. They're both super, super fast. Um, and we have we have guys who are athletes, whether it's the freshman coming in, whether it's Kyle Young or Musa Jallo. I mean, like those are guys that run like gazelles. You could throw it up to them and they're going to catch it <laughs> and dunk it. So, And even Caleb. Caleb is fast and people don't understand that. 
Caleb's really, really fast. So when he wants to run, he'll run too. A little slim down, Caleb's. Yeah, running. exactly. All right. So th those are just two clips. That's just a taste there. The exhibition season, DJ Carton, there's more coming as he gets rolling here his freshman year with the Buckeyes. Joey Lane breaking it down for us the first time here on Buckeye Q. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We've got Letterman Live. We've got the practice report. we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Q with Zach Bourne. For sure. we got recruiting breakdowns with Berm. we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.